NASA is the face of America's space program, but the FCC plays a critical role when it comes to communications up there. You may wonder, what's the FCC have to do with space? Let me explain. Radio, television, and cable communications are all possible thanks to satellites. And our job is to make sure those communications are safe, secure, and reliable. In 1962, the FCC supported the launch of the very first communication satellite. Six decades later, we count on these connections for so much in daily life. But communications in space is evolving, and we are adapting to meet those changing needs. Right now, the U.S. is leading the charge in the new space age, with more space-focused companies than any other country. The FCC is prepared for what's next. Today, we have applications for tens of thousands of new satellites. Tomorrow, we will have even more. That's why we created the Space Bureau, a special office at the FCC designed to support American leadership in space. We have streamlined the application process for satellites and created user-friendly guides for space innovators through our transparency initiative. This makes it easier to get satellites into orbit, supporting vital activities back on Earth. More satellites means more potentially harmful space debris. Our five-year satellite retirement policy seeks to manage this, and it is already having an impact. But the true game changer will come from the phone in your hand. Satellite to cell communications are being developed that will bring connectivity to all, making dead zones a thing of the past. The United States is transforming satellite communications in the new space age, and at the FCC, we want to help lead the way. Satellite communications technologies are an important part of so much in modern life, and we are committed to making them accessible to all. The next time you look up at the sky, remember that there's a whole world of innovation and discovery happening above you. And at the FCC, we want it to reach everyone, everywhere.